ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another tutorial video made by rib today we're looking at red amp so this is an updated how to set up the vorp red amp server so if you're looking to set up a red amp server then this is the one for you so basically within red amp there's two main frameworks there's red amp red em and there's vorp there's a lot of support with vorp a lot of scripts and it's a great framework pretty much 90 percent of the servers out there are using vorp and it's a very straightforward setup and this is how it's done. First things first, before we go into installing the server, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need your VPS itself or a dedicated server. I suggest using, uh, it depends on what you can afford, but if you go over to nfoservers.com and rent yourself even a little two-core Windows 2019 server, you'll have a remote desktop and it's just like logging into another PC and this runs 24-7, so make sure you've got the right hardware first you can set this up on a local host but i don't suggest that unless it's only for dev wise because other people get your ip and you just want a server that runs 24 7 and for the sake of ten dollars a month you can get yourself a nfo server windows 2019 uh, a couple of core and it'll run 24 7 so once you've got your, your vps or a dedicated server like i say it depends on what you can afford uh, it's going to look like this you're going to log into your remote desktop and then you need two programs. You need one called XAMP. So if you just Google XAMP, you download and install XAMP, and you'll have a, let me just get my control panel up, and it'll look like this. So then what you do is you'll have a couple of little crosses next to the MySQL and Apache. Click these to install these services. You only actually need MySQL, but install them both and make sure they're both started. Once XAMP's installed, you're then going to need something to... to uh, run your databases and i use heidi sql so once heidi's installed it will look like this create a new session make sure the user is root no password um, the port will be 3306 as standard and you go okay so that's heidi installed that's xamp installed now you're ready to install the vorp framework okay thanks to blue over at the vorp he's already made a complete pre-made vorp server so the link for this will be down below. And what you're going to do is you're going to go um, download zip. So you're going to click the little green code and download zip. Once that's downloaded, it's going to be into our download folder. Let's go into download and here it is. I'm just going to extract here. So you need WinZip or WinRAR. I use WinRAR to extract the contents of this zipped package. So inside, we've got the main files we need. We're going to highlight these. We're going to copy them all. We're going to go to our C drive. I'm going to create a new folder in my C drive, and I'm going to name this Red M2. You can name it whatever you want. Mine's called Red M2. I've already got a Red M here, so let's go into the Red M2, and let's paste all the contents from that zipped file in here. Once this is done, we're going to go over to make our database. So let me just let this extract. And if we open up, this is the main SQL. If we open up the SQL, it will say here, the database needs to be called VORP V2. So let's go over to Heidi. Let's go back into our Heidi and let's right click this, this white screen and go to create a new database. And this is going to be called VORP, VORP V2. Click OK. So there's our database. So now what we need to do, we need to run that SQL. So we're going to go to file. We're going to go to run. We're going to go where the folder we just created in the C drive and it was called uh, Red MV, Red M2. So Red M2. And we're going to run this database.sql. So let's go OK. Don't worry about the encoding. And we've, we've got that run. So if we go refresh, we've now have, we now have, boom, our, all our tables needed. I'm not too sure that must have been the old one. Let me just delete this. Boo, drop that, drop. OK. So we've got the VORP V2. Let's refresh that. And we've got all our table contents. So this is where all your information from your players and everything will be stored. So that's all you need for your database. So let's come, come out of this. Let's go back to the C drive. Let's go to Red M2. Let's go into server data. And what you need to do now, you need to, so inside this, inside this server CFG, let's edit this. So if you scroll down, you're going to need a few things in here. So you're going to need to Google your Steam Web API key. And that's where you put this, your Steam Web API key. If you've got Steam, everyone's got Steam. That's where you put your Steam Web API key. Just Google it. And then your license key, which you make on the Keymaster 5M Keymaster. You put your license key here. Your Steam Web API key there. You put your names of your server. 
So this is where your, your names, etc., will be in your banners. So just go over this config. If you're already running a server on your on your VPS or your dedicated server, then change the port to a one. However, if the, if you're brand new to this, just leave it as it is, and happy days. So as long as you've changed the license key and the API key, you're golden. So let me just replace mine just so I can't expose my keys. So I've already got one here with my key and my API key in it. Right, so that's that done. So your resources, when you add new resources into this framework, this is where you're going to put them. So it's an ensure space and that resource. Thanks to Blue, the VORP already comes. It's a pre-made server with a lot of resources. However, if you're looking to get more resources, Blue also has a Tebex with a lot of scripts here. So I'll link this also down below. So if you want some, some scripts for your server, then they're going to be there. So the links for the pre-made server and the links for Blue's Tebex will be down below. Okay, so we set up the database. We've moved the main server files over to the Red M2 folder. We've edited the server CFG. To start, we don't really need to edit, I don't think, server. So, no, we don't need to edit that. One thing we need to do now, so if we go back out into the server files, we need to put the server artifacts into this di into this directory. So, let me go on to here. Let's go to, um, we need some server artifacts. Has he linked them down here? I think he might have done. No. Let's go 5M server artifacts, 5M server artifacts. Let's go down to there. And we're going to go to artifacts, latest recommended. Let's download these. They've downloaded. Uh, continue downloading. Boom. Boom. Let's go to our download folder. Let's select the, the artifacts that we just downloaded. Copy. Let's go back to the red M2 folder and back into server files. And we're going to paste these here. Same again. We're going to extract here. Lovely. And then we're going to delete the server zip. So now we've got all our server artifacts. We have the database set up. We've edited the server CFG. So now it should be a simple case of just starting the server. So let's start dot bat. Okay, that's starting. Just got to make let, let it create all these environments and run all these run all these resources. Okay, so that's the server online. We should technically be able to join this straight away. So if I go come out of this, and let's go to our red app. Let's start up red app. Okay, red app is starting up. And because I'm running this on, um, well, I'm not actually on a local host. I'm using a VPS. So we should be able to, I can't remember what my, uh, it's going to be this one. So if I go to my key master, bear with me two seconds. Key master. Let's log in the key master. I am human. Let's go to boat, 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 boat. Let's get verified on the capture. Let's go boat, boat, boat. Verify. Sign in. Okay, the server I'm using is VOV705. So every server you run on your key master, you'll have a a join kind of code. I mean, I can show you this. So your key master will look like this. So I'm going to use this here to join. Or you could just use the, the server IP. So you go F8. Or you could just find it in the filter with the server name. But I don't know what the server's called right now. So I didn't set a header. Say so heading. Connect. And we're going to go to VOV705. VOV705. Connect. Connection rejected. Okay, what's going on here? Is that the one? VOV705. Let's try again. VOV705. Connect VOV705. Let's have a look what's going on. Do, do, do. So let's go back onto the date, onto the server. Loading player nil. rejected what is the matter with you let's make sure I am logged into everything exit this let me go into my steam a sec check make sure we are hold on steam log in steam it's probably gonna need our our license keys from steam so let's log into my steam 
Okay, Steam is logged in. Let's get onto Red M again. Had me scratching for a second then. Okay, so let's try again. So this is the VOV705. Can we join this time? And we can. So we needed to be logged into Steam. That had me a bit, a bit worried, but I wasn't logged into Steam. So my fault. So if we go back onto the server, you can see now load and play of Ribs say It's because it couldn't find my licenses or, yeah, it uses a Steam aut authentication for your players that join. So we're now joining. Loading all the resources. Pretty damn simple to set up these Red M servers, especially uh, the VORP pre-made server that's supplied by Blue. Massive shout out to Blue. So we're already loading in. And then we'll be greeted with a character creation. Set up your character and you'll be in. This uses mumble as well, so you don't need team speak, salty chat, none of that. Okay, male or female? The male, press enter. Character creation. We're just gonna. Ooh. I'm not gonna do any of this. Um, do dressing room. There we go. That'll do, just so we know we've configured it. Then go to finish and save. Once you've messed around with all your character stuff, let's just call it test. This is the name of your character. Let's confirm that. Test. Write the first and last name. Okay, test. Test, my bad. Test, test. Okay, so that's us in. Welcome to the VORP. We hope your stay is most entertaining. There we go. That's the character that we set up. We're now in. I is for your inventory. So I is the inventory. If you check on the map, there's already a lot of content added to these frameworks. But yeah. So that is pretty simple. That is a server up and running. Within 10 minutes, a VORP framework, which 90% of the servers out there use. Okay, but like I say, thanks to Blue, Blue has got his own... The, the Blue is the owner and creator of this VORP framework. Let me just do this a second. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get off that. There we go. Um, let's go across here. Let's find his Tebex again. So if you're looking for some scripts for your VORP server, he's got a lot of scripts here for sale. There's also the VORP Discord, which is a massive help to you server owners so make sure i'll link the i'll link the pre-made server on the bottom of the video the vorp discord which is this discord which is for you server owners that are running a vorp server and his tabex and not only that blue he has his own server which is called sin county it has 200 people in it it's a fully maxed out pimped up vorp red m server it's what i actually go and sheriff in at the minute so come and check that out as well. But that is pretty much the standard way of setting up your Red M server in 10 minutes. And that is it. So let's go to... So if I go... Come out of this a second. If I go to my database. Okay, let's go. Boop. Boop. Oops. Let's refresh this. So let's go back into the VORP V2. And we go down to... Let's have a look where it goes in here. Users, data, so there's me, so I'm already in. So that is it. So any questions, put them down below. Well, your best bet is heading over to the VORP Discord. It is there for you server owners to help you server owners out. Let me get back in. My mouse is off the screen. There we go. Like, subscribe for more Red M tutorials and more Red M videos. And I hope to see you on the, uh, on the Sin County as well. Like, subscribe. I'll see you again. Peace out for now. Adiós.